Hey, Julian, how you doing, man? I'm, I'm well. Merry Christmas to you and all your friends. And Hey, family. hang on, hang on, dude. I, I heard you singing with George Galloway. What's that all about, dude? <laughs> it was a, don't worry, I'm going to get you on it. I'm going to get you and him in the same uh, room eventually. That was the Christmas uh, party. <laughs> oh, definitely. For his, uh, yeah, radio show. So, what? What you? New York. What do you? Are you fun. already? Are you already for Christmas, brother? Yeah, pretty, pretty much. Yeah, I've got. Normally, I'm last minute. Today, I had a day to spare, so that's pretty good. So, so what have you got in and your you're mind? You're going up to see family, yeah. What have you got in your mind today, Julian? Well, and, you know, and for you know listeners what, out there, before uh, you go, before you get into this, I want everyone to check out your channel. Go on. It's one of the. Un, most undersubscribed channels, in my opinion, called Lessons for we'll, we'll Life. And you done a brilliant video. I think it was uh, Wham, their Christmas music. You had a compilation, what you were up to for the year. See, I keep an eye on what you're doing, brother. Great work. Yeah, so. I, I'm very, I'm very touched, Kev, no, that no. you would be up to date. Oh, absolutely, man. And, so so um, what are you thinking today? What, what uh, do you want to tell everyone? You're, you're very up to date. Well, I, w I was going to share the journey I had uh, just over a week ago when I spent uh, five days in Syria as a tourist. Wow, dude. Wow. And Tell us all about it, man. It is up there on the channel. It, it's buried behind George Galloway now, but I've, uh, I've got about five videos up there. And you were talking about ancient civilizations. Last time I spoke to you, we, we mentioned the Phoenicians. Mm -hmm. And, of course, the Phoenicians were in Syria. And on one of my trips, I went to this uh, site called Amrit, where they've got one of the oldest Olympic-style uh, stadiums. And the, the Phoenicians would have had a similar uh, Olympic uh, Games uh, type uh, sport going on, uh, similar to the Greeks. And I went to a lot of churches, a lot of some mosques. I was in more churches uh, than mosques. There's the the big church uh, in Damascus, uh, the big mosque, sorry, the, the Umayyad Mosque, which was a church, and it became a mosque, and the head of um, John the Baptist is buried there. And I thought maybe it's it's not good that a church became a mosque, but the guy explained to me that for 40 years, it functioned as both a church and a mosque, and the Christians and, and the Muslims shared it until eventually... The Muslims bought the the Christian section off them, and the, and the Christians invested in a new building. So it's not all about conquering and you took our building and turned a church into a mosque. There's actually a shared history that is still alive there. The Christians and the Muslims are very close, and it's not the way we we would be led to believe that it's different religions at each other's throats. So no, it was I'd great heard, to see a little bit of harmony. I'd heard this Syria. about Syria before. Um, that it was temples mm -hmm. as opposed to, you, you know, just um, very strictly for whatever religion it was set aside for. So this is, you've been there, but, you've experienced that, which is great because it's one thing hearing mm -hmm. something on the internet, Julian, but you've been there, man. And yeah. I mentioned the, the the Arab Spring earlier on, and of course, Syria, I mean, that, that's a part of yeah, that. Yeah, 2011. Yeah. You know what? In 2011, I was uh, in the chat. I put Anders Brevik because I remember when that happened. Because I was in Palestine, I was in the West Bank at the time, and we were hearing all the, about the turmoil in Syria. And when I came back from Palestine, I naively went to a protest outside the Syrian embassy, and I was standing with people saying. Uh, you know, we need democracy because I thought that's what the Arab Spring was about and I regret that now because I can see either what it was or what it turned into which was something from outside. Yeah. It was um, it def wasn't completely It was, it was regime change but not for the people. It was putting in new puppets for the West to control. Now we're almost out of time. Julian, yeah. I'm going to let you go. But um, I'll hit you up on Discord or something. I'd love to get you on for an hour one night and we can get into all of these topics. Anytime, Kev. Absolutely, brother. You Much appreciated as ever. And Merry Christmas to you and everyone uh, at the Kev Baker Show. And you, brother. And you. And uh, tell George oh, I was you, asking for him. So, Jason, I want to promote Julian's channel as well.
totally different topic, totally different genre altogether, but an absolutely fantastic channel, fantastic videos, very high quality, very, very important information, and I urge you all to check that out. There's the Syria playlist there. Looks like he's been to Bang uh, Pakistan as well. Please check that out. Do me a favour. Go and check out Lessons for Life. I'll drop that in the chat room right now for all of you people that are still here. And again, thanks, folks, for tuning in today. I, I was in two minds whether to take a night off.